Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Unity, our 3D game development environment. So we're going to talk about how to open up a project, what kind of stuff you'll find in the Unity window, and then we'll start to create our first couple of simple objects. We'll make some terrain, and we'll make a cube. So let's get started in Unity. You'll notice that when I first opened up Unity, I had kind of a blank project here. And you might also see a window that looks like this. Uh, you'll notice on one side we've got an open project dialog, and on the other side we've got create new project dialog. So depending on what you're going to want to do, you want to choose one or the other. In your case, since you're just getting started with Unity, you're probably going to be making a new project. So here's how that's going to work. First, we've got to choose where we're going to put our project and what we're going to call it. So if we look under project directory right here, we can either type that information in, or we can click set and we can choose it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and make a very simple project called Project. I'll just save it right to the desktop. Now keep in mind, if you want to expand this window with the little down arrow, you can get a little bit more information about what you want to uh, choose as your location. But I just wanted a very simple desktop. And then I'm just going to click Save. And now we've got our path all set up, and we just have to choose whether we want to import any packages. So these packages are all assets, pieces of our game that we can grab and use that are built into Unity. So we're going to start off just by skipping these because for the most part if you don't know what you need you probably don't want to choose it yet. You can always import these projects, uh, these packages later. So if we need them later, we'll import them later. So I'm ready to start. I'm just going to click Create Project. And now Unity is going to load up my project. This does take a minute. Well, maybe it didn't. Okay, so the, the initial project is going to be pretty quick. Later on, once you have more stuff in your projects, it does take quite a bit longer. Now, this is the Unity window. So in Unity, we're going to have a whole bunch of different panes where we can see different aspects of our game. Uh, there are five primary ones. The biggest one you're seeing here is the scene view. That's where most of our game stuff is going to be, where we're actually going to be looking and making sure everything is in the right place. We also have the game view, which we can kind of switch over to here. And this is going to be what we'll use when we're play testing. We have our hierarchy, which is going to be a list of all the objects in our game. We have our project window, which is going to be a list of all of the assets that are available to use in the game. And we'll have an inspector window where we can adjust all the properties of our objects. Now, let's talk about how to actually get some objects into this game. We're going to start off with terrain, which is a simple, flat object that just lets us uh, start off with our world. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to click terrain right up in the menu bar at the top and choose create terrain. And there we are. There's our terrain. We can move around and look at it. Uh, you can look around by holding down right click on your mouse and just dragging around. You can also move around while you're holding down right click by moving W, A, S, and D on the keyboard. You can even hold shift to go a little bit faster. You can see right now it's kind of tough to tell that I'm moving, moving around. But uh, as we start to get objects in the game, we'll get more of a sense of scale. Now, uh, next thing we want to do is maybe zoom out a little bit. You can just scroll to zoom in and out. Or you can double click on an object in the hierarchy to zoom right to that object. So there's our terrain. We can see it up from above. It's looking kind of flat and featureless. So why don't we see what we can do about that. Take a look over at the inspector window where you're going to see a whole bunch of different properties. We're going to see transform, tra terrain script, brushes. Uh, there's a bunch of different properties in here. But the one we're interested in is Terrain Script, which is where we're actually going to be able to adjust what our terrain looks like. So why don't we go ahead and select a brush from the brushes area. And then what we can do with this first terrain tool, the one all the way on the left, is paint in height to our terrain. So we can brush it in with the brush. It'll appear in the shape of the brush that we choose. And we can create some hills, valleys, things like that, maybe even some mountains. We can change the different brush get some different shapes. We can adjust brush size and opacity, so we do have a couple of settings we can play around with. Uh, we can also create plateaus, not just hills, if we use this second uh, tool, which is the set height tool. So rather than painting an additional height, we're choosing a height with the height slider, and then we're going to create something at that height. So this is how we could create a plateau. Let's just go ahead and explain or, uh, demonstrate that. That's what a plateau looks like. So you have a whole bunch of brushes in here that you can do a whole lot with. Now, let's talk about another type of object. We're just going to make some simple objects. 
Um, specifically, we're going to go ahead and create a cube. Now, to create a cube, we're going to add something to our hierarchy, because this is where all our objects live. So if you go to the Create menu right under Hierarchy and choose Cube, now we have a cube. Now, it's kind of tough to see because it's pretty small, but we did just create one. So if we want to zoom right to it, why don't we just double-click on Cube, and there it is. So it's actually below the terrain. But here it is. We can zoom around it, see it in all three dimensions, and we can manipulate it if we want to. So uh, there are four tools that we can use to manipulate it. They're right up here at the top of the screen. First one is the Grab tool. That just lets us move an object around. Second one is the Move tool, which lets us move the object either in all dimensions at once or in one dimension at a time. You can see the X, Y, and Z axes are available to be dragged and moved. We can choose the Rotation tool, which lets us rotate that cube in pretty much any direction. And we can choose the Scale tool, which lets us make that cube bigger or smaller by dragging from the center, or bigger or smaller in any given uh, axis by grabbing just that axis. So I can extend this along the x-axis by grabbing red, or I can compress it by moving it in a little bit. I can also do the same from the y-axis by grabbing green. So I can scale that in one of any three dimensions, or I can scale in all dimensions at once by grabbing from the middle. And that is the basics of working with objects in Unity. So we know our way around Unity, we know how to create an object, there are a bunch of other objects in here that you can create if you want to play around and kind of get a feel for how all this works. So give it a shot yourself, and we'll continue on tomorrow.